Hi guys, I'm going to give you a quick uh, introduction to Illustrator. Um, as you can see, it's pretty similar, or it looks pretty similar to Photoshop, um, but it is very different, um, so we're going to kind of work through this together. Um, if you look over here, it says uh, tackle tasks for first timer, start first project. That's a good way to kind of get started. Um, on Illustrator, there's a bunch of like tutorials, so if you feel kind of like lost, work through some of these, okay? But I'm just going to show you um, just a quick tutorial on a couple of things we can do in Illustrator, okay? So open up Illustrator, obviously, and go to Create New. All right, uh, let's see. Um, I've got five by five inches. Um, that's fine. Press create. Okay, so what comes up, I'm going to shift this over so you can see it, is my image. Now this is called, in Illustrator, this is called your artboard, okay? So over here we've got tools just like we do in uh, Photoshop. We've got some uh, stuff up here that we can work with and we'll work you through that, okay? So this is your artboard, okay? And now I want to make this a little smaller and add a couple more artboards, okay? That's something you can do in Illustrator that's different from Photoshop is you can work on more than one project at a time, all right? So I'm gonna come over here to my tools and down here, the little crop, hover over it, it says artboard tool. I'm going to click on that, all right? And it's going to select my artboard and now I can scale it down, all right, move it over here. I can create a new artboard, all right, I can scale it down, or up, I guess. <laughs> um, click over here, and you'll see that as I click, it selects, and it'll show you which artboard I'm working on, okay? So I'm going to scale, oh, no, I opened a new one, that's totally fine, press delete, okay? Click on this, scale it over, I'm going to click on this, and move it over. Now I want three artboards, okay? So here's another way to do this. I'm going to come over here, I'm going to expand this, alright, nope, not what I meant to do, okay. Oh, duh. Okay, so I expanded this. This is kind of similar to um, Photoshop and then it's telling me, you know, like colors and all this stuff, okay? So down here at the bottom, we've got layers. So click on layers. Obviously, we just have layer one. Now click on artboards, okay? You can see I have artboard one and artboard three. And now just like in Photoshop, I'm gonna click this little icon here is new artboard. So I'm going to click it, all right, and it's going to pull up an artboard that is the same size as the artboard I just created, okay? So this was the artboard I was just on, and it created this artboard, all right? So I'm going to collapse this for a minute, okay? So these are artboards, okay? We're going to be working on these artboards, okay? So just like with Photoshop, we have a bunch of tools over here, okay? Now the first one I want to show you is the pen tool. Now here it looks like a little pen. Now it says add anchor point, okay? Because the last thing I was working with was the add anchor point tool. And just like with Photoshop, there's different tools within each tool, all right? So I'm going to go up here and click on the pen tool. Make sure you're on the pen tool and it looks like this, okay? Now for the pen tool, we're not going to like draw. I'm going to click. All right, and this adds an anchor point, and we'll talk about that, okay? So I'm gonna click, drag, click again. All right, now I have my line. Now, in order to stop drawing, I need to click over here on the move, I mean, on the selection tool, okay? All right, because if I keep clicking, 
it's just going to keep giving me um, lines, okay? So now I have this line, all right? I'm on this tool, which is your selection tool, and you'll use this a lot, okay? Now what's great about this is it goes ahead and kind of adds a little selection box over what I've just drawn, okay? So I can very easily scale this down, scale it up, kind of move it around, okay? So it's very user friendly, okay? Now also, color, right? Over here, just like in Photoshop, we have our colors over here, but it's a little different. Instead of like a foreground and background color, we have our fill color, which is this white box here, and a stroke color, okay? So the stroke is this, you can see this is black. When you make a stroke, okay, when you make like a line, that's the stroke. And if you have a shape, what's inside, that's the fill color, okay? So think about it like that. So if I want to change, I can change my stroke color, all right? All right, so I'm gonna change it to like a blue, all right? Collapse this. Now this is a lot in one go, okay? This is just an intro and we're gonna go over this in class, but I want you to just kind of like get familiar with working in Illustrator, okay? So we've made a line. Good job, we're awesome, okay. So now in this artboard, I wanna make a shape, okay? Just like in Photoshop, there's a shape tool, all right? Click on this, got a rectangle tool, rounded ellipse tool, ellipse, polygon, star, flare, okay? I'm going to click on the ellipse tool. Hold on one second, my dog's bothering me here. <laughs> All right, so just like with Photoshop, right? We're just gonna click and drag, okay? And now I have an ellipse. Now, if I go to my selection tool, oh, move my artboard around. I can move it around, okay? Now up here at the top, some new kind of um, tools have come up, all right? You can see I have some colors here. So this is my fill color. And let's come down, let's change it to a hot pink, okay? Look how easily you can change colors. This is really, really what is great about Illustrator. It's really made for drawing, okay? Now let's come over here. This is our stroke color. Let's change that to it's blue, all right? Now over here, we have stroke. It's on one point, okay? So that's like a small line. I can come down and change that, okay? I can make it thicker, all right? I can make it really thick if I wanted. That looks crazy. All right, so I'm gonna put it back on one point, but this is really helpful, okay, when working and making shapes. Oh, I like that, that looks good. Okay, now come over here. I can change it. There's a ton of different like fun things you can do and this is really fun when you're making like logos or um, things like that. Okay, you can kind of play around with this. Let's go back to uniform. All right, I can change the opacity, you know, play around with everything that's up in here. Okay, so we've made a line, we made a shape and again, I can scale it up. I can scale it down, I can move it around, okay? So super user friendly, okay? Now, on my last artboard here, what I want to do is I want to use the curve tool, okay? The curve pen tool. So it looks like the pen tool, but it's got this little curvy line here. I'm gonna click on this, okay? So like the pen tool, I'm gonna click and I'm gonna click over here, oh. So now, see, it's starting to make this like kind of curve, all right? So this is how we make curve lines. Now, in order to click off of this, I gotta come over here, click the selection tool, all right? Now you see it filled my shape, and I don't really want that, okay? So I'm gonna come over here to the top where it's fill, and go to none, all right? So now it's just a line. I'm also going to change it back to one point, okay? So, this is a curved line, obviously. 
Now, in order to manipulate this, okay, and, and kind of change it, um, I am going to add an anchor point. Okay, now this is when I want to talk to you guys about anchor point, path, and handles, okay? So, your anchor is where you start a line, okay? So, I clicked here, and it made an anchor. Your path is the line. You see, I'm going along the line, and it says path. Now, there's an anchor point here, because you see I clicked there. Come up here, path, there's another anchor point, okay? Now, if I come over here to the direct selection tool, okay? All right, I need to use this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to add another anchor point first. So let's come over to the pen tool, right click, add anchor point, okay? So let's say I want to make this curve a little more, okay? Along the path, I'm going to click and it's going to add an anchor point. And it also, you see, it adds a handle. All right, and I'll show you what that does. So come over here, click on Direct Selection Tool. Click on the handle. And your handle allows you to manipulate the shape, okay? So along the anchor point, see? You got your anchor and your two handles. And I'm manipulating this curved line by using the handle. All right, I've got another handle down here. I'm gonna kind of play with that. Okay, so this is how I can make a curve. Okay, oh, there we go. Okay, now this is super useful. Okay, remember we couldn't really do this in Photoshop. All right. So you can make curved lines, which is really, really great, okay? So I'm going to go in actually now and add this. Oh, okay, that's a shape. Let's, let's make a shape. All right. So I'm going to grab the ellipse tool. And make a couple of shapes that kind of intersect each other. All right. And let's just say that I am like, wow, I really like these shapes, but I kind of wish they were one shape. Okay. So, and I know I'm showing you a lot at one time, but that's okay. We're just getting used to this. Okay. So let's say I wanted this to turn into one shape as opposed to three separate shapes. What I need to do is shift, click, and select all three, okay? Now I'm gonna come over here to the left in my Shape Builder tool, okay? This is a really, really cool tool. Click on this, and you see as I come over here, it grays whatever I'm on top of, okay? So go here, click, and drag into the shape you want to connect and let go. Now look, it's all one shape, okay? Again, I can change the color. Well, it's not selected, sorry. Select it, change the color, okay? I can scale it up and down. I can move it around, okay? So this is just a quick little intro to Illustrator, all right? So work through this and get started, and I will kind of run you through this again on Tuesday. Okay, 